Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology forecast where we talk about celestial transits over the week and how to better prepare to them. So what kind of week do we have this time around? First of all, we're talking about the 1st to the 8th of December 2018 and if you followed last week's video, by the way this is Georgia here, hello! Um, who didn't see me for a week because I was in Athens working and uh, working my little ass off and Georgia missed me very much I missed you too and I love that you show it so much she almost tumbles me down with the love she shows who said that cats don't show love whoever said that never owned a cat probably anyway I mean really had a cat friend, not owned a cat, but had a cat friend, which is different than owning a cat. I need to correct myself. So if you followed last week's video, it's a very sensitive time with our communications, and this week still is. It can become a little more um, combative or, or, or um, too assertive, even aggressive, if we're not careful. And it can rock our relationships or our workplaces. And if we don't want any necessary tremors, we need to watch ourselves, watch our impulsivity, watch our tongues. Definitely a week to watch yourself more on the roads and while working out. It's an injury-prone week and not necessarily, not necessarily physic physically. We could have an accident with our tongue as well depends how you are going to experience the Sun square Mars that there is in, on Monday I think this week and remember I'm always talking in Central European time if you're in the East Coast of the United States we move at about eight hours uh, before and if you're in the Pacific over in Australia it's about 10 hours ahead so Saturday is a sensitive day it's a time that we could feel that our communications are malfunctioning. We are heading into the stagnation of Mercury as it starts to move back forward at the end of the week. But these are the most difficult days of the Mercury retrograde. So more malfunctions with our communications, watching better everything that is said and recorded, and, and all the small details, and if we have to plan something, <coughs> widen your margins so that if there are last-minute changes, you're not harmed. Um, so we could feel as if something is broken in our relationships or in our communication on Saturday, and that it begins to be better only in the afternoon time and evening time. Mercury is going to move on that day to Scorpio demanding more communication which is intimate which is emotional which is truthful which is daring which is transformative in its nature from all of us Sunday the second Vesta planet uh, in charge of sacred fire that our dedication to the sacred fire in our life is moving into Aquarius and it's time in Aquarius I think, would provide us with the understanding that if we want to give the best fruits that we can to the group, we have to be loyal to our individual truth and self, to our own uniqueness, in a sense. And only by being Advent followers of our own uniqueness, of who we are, of what we came to bring forth to this dimension at this time, can we really and truly fruit the best, sweetest, most nutritious fruits that we can give this world. On the second, on Sunday the second, the moon is sextiling the sun, generally a nice day, Venus moving into Scorpio at the evening time making our 
need for relationship, our emotional hunger for satisfaction, much more dramatic. We have to start watching the drama with the planet of communication and the planet of relationship and satisfaction in dramatic, obsessive, and extreme Scorpio. <clears throat> the third is a Monday, and I think it's the most intense day of the week. The transits in the sky are combative. It's the exact time that the sun is going to square Mars in the sky. The moon is going to square Pluto at the same time. Uh, through the day, you know, it, it still goes on with different uneasy aspects between the moon and Mars and between the sun and the moon and then between the moon and Pluto at the evening time. We have to watch our temper. We have to watch it that we don't lash out on people, that we're not intolerant with people, that we're not, um, um, that we don't have any... Um, we need to be patient enough with people and, and not too rebellious. Only at late night, as the moon approaches Venus, does this atmosphere elevate. And then we go in, into 24 hours, which have a lot of magic and charm. Tuesday the 4th, that's when a kite forms in the sky between Chiron and Mercury and the nodes. A kite is a very lucky formation in astrology. It's a dynamic formation that really allows us to, allows us to transcend difficulties that we've faced before in new ways. And here we can find that by communicating our pain, by understanding that we do not need to be martyrs within our relationships anymore, that there is always a solution, there is always a way, there is always another, uh, uh, um, another honing, another exactification of that edge that could be done. Work never ceases. And with the same breath, and this is, I'm already talking about the themes of this new moon, with the same breath of getting that understanding, getting that wisdom, um, maybe even being exposed to a truth that is more legitimate and, and, and better applicable to this grand, immeasurable experience we call living. This is a, a, a week that our philosophies can be upgraded, that we could be downloaded with information or that we could simply understand what has been stopping us before, what has been uh, uh, um, inexact before and, and thus made us uh, uh, do a mistake in the calculation that strayed, that made our, made, made our road stray from our heart's path. And now by exacting it, we are actually walking forward in a better stride and an easier step, maybe even much more optimistic than before. But, and here's the but for this week, facing your pain, facing the fact that we live in a world that some things are beyond our reach, that we cannot challenge everything, we cannot uh, uh, shape everything, we cannot uh, uh, be in control, over every aspect of our life and some things would always be unaccept uh, um, <laughs> would, would always be unexpected and immeasurable and uh, out of our control and being humbled surrendering accepting forgiving loving moving on is a very important theme if we want to get to that understanding, if we want to get to this, to this truth, to this better philosophy of what our life here on earth is. And that kite stays in the sky for all through the week and 
on the fourth Tuesday, as I said, it's a wonderful 24 hours. It's good for work, for work with a sextile between the moon and Saturn. Uh, and it's great for love and intimacy with a trine from the moon, both to Venus and Neptune. Um, so, um, Tuesday night could be wonderful and Monday night could be wonderful too. The fifth, Wednesday, energetic day, a good day for communications, uh, even though these are the last days of Mercury before it stations direct. Next day already it stations direct. So, it can baffle communications. It's better for emotional communication as it is conjunct the moon or intimate communication. But, if you're looking for schedules or navigation or you need to be exact with contracts and work, you better watch it. Thursday, the 6th, more intense day, at least in the morning time. Beautiful time from the afternoon onwards. Just uh, um, transportation and communication can be uh, uh, a little hectic as Mercury is stationing direct in the sky. Uh, the 7th is a new moon. It's in 15 degrees of Sagittarius. And we can see that it squares Mars conjunct Neptune in the sky. So all of that knowledge, as I said before, is also about accepting that we are droplets in an ocean, that we could never really know what we came here for and, and, and how this all works, that there are things beyond our reach and beyond our capability of uh, control. Remember that every new moon is a time of an imprint that goes on with you to the next cycle of the moon, the next three weeks, three, uh, three, four weeks almost. And it's always a good time to be mindful of the energies that go through you uh, because we are a bit like sponges then. It's a great time for a ceremony over the 6th and the 7th that really concludes the last lunar circle pays respect to everything that we went through, pays respect to how we went through challenges, pays respect to the people who went through challenges with us in our lives, giving thanks for everything that has happened, understanding that we are not exempt from pain and suffering in this life, but really we hope to, uh, and to learn it through the carrot and not through the stick, so to speak. Um, And that's the day that um, the conjunction between Mars and Neptune is going to be exact as well. And as I said, that's a lot about forgiveness and walking onwards and understanding exactly what is within our power and what isn't and accepting that there are things that we could never change in other people, in our relationships or in this world. We cannot dance the dance of life for others and right now it's important that we concentrate on our own step. Georgia, are you okay? You miss daddy very much I see. She haven't seen me for a week. Um, it was great being in Athens seeing friends and clients and, uh, and I'm really thankful that I could uh, have these trips uh, that clients organize about 15 people and then I come over to your country I do sessions over a few days and classes if, if there are people interested and I come back and it's a great way for me to network astrology through the world and uh, to give some of the added value that I received from my teachers onwards and help others and help myself <laughs> anyway um, when we come to the 8th Saturday, it's a bit somber, at least until evening time. It could be a great day to be with the elderly or with people that are higher ranking than you. It's a good day to let yourself loose a little bit from being too tight or uh, too um, constricted. So do allow yourself some rope on that day. Do allow yourself some innovation on that day. And, jet, and, and definitely from the night time, 
It's a great time for intimacy. It's a great time for love. So with that, I'm going to leave you. And I want to tell you that new groups are opening soon. If you want to join, uh, contact me. On behalf of Georgia and myself, we wish you a very good week. Success with everything that you're being challenged with in your life right now. And a lot of joy. May we live long and prosper.